Think we need my check. A mess. A message from the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond to Mayor Dwight Jones. This is a formal notification by the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond that we believe our constitutional rights have been infringed upon. We have attempted to function within available legal channels. Oh, pause. Um, if you all could do temperature checks all throughout the reading of this so that we can gauge exactly how people feel the entire time, that would be fantastic. Let's get through the letter. Yes. Well, let's get through the letter and then we will take questions and comments. Can you just read it a little slower? Sure. sure. A message from the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond to Mayor Dwight Jones. <laughs> yeah. Yes! yes. 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 Alright. This is a formal notification by the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond that we believe our constitutional rights have been infringed upon. We have attempted to function within available legal channels, including the city permitting process, appeals to city council, and direct negotiations. These have failed us. We issue the following proposal and firmly insist you reasonably consider this proposal and respond by 5 p.m. Monday, November 14th, the end of your next day of business. Uh, okay, Josh. Is that right? I'm just going to rip these things out. That's fine. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Number one, we propose that you authorize the director of Richmond Department of Parks and Recreation, Dr. Norman Merrifield, to issue explicit permission, I'm sorry, explicit documented permission under his authority pursuant to section 26.397D of Richmond City Code 2, colon, 2. Explicitly permit Occupy Richmond to encamp 24 hours a day, seven days a week, without incurring any violation of the following ordinances. Number one, section 26-397A of the Richmond Sunset Clause. Number two, section 26-390, the Richmond Anti-Encampment or Anti-Encampment Ordinance. Number three. This permission is to be issued in accordance with the Constitution of the United States, specifically for peaceable assembly, speech, expression, and protest. Congress shall make, I'm sorry, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting, I don't know what I wrote down, dang it, Wikipedia. <laughs> no law abridging an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free speech thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or right of the people to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This law applies to all public spaces. Number four. If our proposal is not heeded and our grievances not redressed, we will pursue other available and legal avenues of action, perhaps even engaging in occupation on private property within the city of Richmond. <laughs> <laughs> A supporter of the movement, Mr. Raymond H. Boone, 
has graciously offered his yard for this purpose. <laughs> Strength and solidarity, the General Assembly of Occupy Richmond. <laughs> representatives from each of the smaller groups as well as anyone else who is interested um, determined that perhaps to keep the media frenzy going because it's very important to keep people talking about this that we can issue a series of press releases that address multiple different issues instead of throwing all of our eggs into a single basket and hope that you know they respond to it once and then you know we die down again this is a strategic PR campaign because the mayor already knows what we want, you know, so this is for the public, ultimately. This is a public statement. Um, so, you know, we, we did discuss the idea of including, you know, our right to protest and march without permits or whatever. And that's something we can bring up tomorrow, or we can bring up Monday, or whatever. You know, that this, this should be a successive thing, you know, and that's from a personal standpoint, also something I learned from operating within political campaigns, because this is, maybe not political, but this is a campaign of public opinion. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> Wonderful, Joshua. Very, uh, very well read. Uh, bless you. Yeah. Very well read. Yeah. yeah. The only, I, I love the letter. I had from the beginning, I liked it back before, still love it. <laughs> the only issue I have is in the beginning where it says something about to encamp, in camp, I believe, needs to be changed from in camp to peacefully assemble and redress, present our government with a redress of grievances. 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah. Because that is what we are doing. We I are do not camping. Like if you are asking permission yeah. to camp, you will only get permission to camp. If you are specifically telling everyone that you are, in fact, presenting your government with a redress of grievances, which is, in fact, a right afforded to you by the Constitution of the United States, that is what we are doing. If we as a group continue to call it camping, so will they. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just, you may answer your question. Yeah. Just very specifically, um, the, the reference to encampment procedures is, uh, is directly related to the explicit permission from the Parks and Rec Director for that particular protocol within occupation. Yeah. We, then, we then proceed to cite the Constitution, which addresses our rights to free speech, free assembly, and all of those things. So that, that's just a point of clarification. I, you know, we can still change this. My point, my point being, the repetitive nature of these specific words to present our government with a redress of grievances, that is in fact what we are all doing. The more you tell the people that is what we are doing, the more they will understand that. If you keep referring to what we're doing on one hand as camping, and on the other hand as a redress of grievances, we are effectively confusing the public. That's why they're confused. It's just the, uh, the wording in the beginning as well, when it says, allow occupied Richmond to camp. That's a little exclusive. We're talking to the band. We want, um, we are the people. Everybody. Not the Occupy Richmond. Right? 
allow the people to present their government with a redress of grievances. Sir has a response. Yes, I do have a response. Yes. For those of us who may be unaware, our occupation is a vehicle for all people. For all people. Our General Assembly is all inclusive for all people to come and submit any grievances that they may have that are applicable to our occupation. This is naturally understood if you have been intrinsically, excuse me, if you have been entrenched in our principle. That's automatically understood. What, where is the confusion in that? Where's the confusion? I'm, I'm getting a little bit lost as moderator as to what the conversation even is. <laughs> so can we stop for one second? Because I'm not sure all everyone's having different opinions and lots of hands are going up. And this is exactly what happened before. Hold on. So we have to okay. trust these people a little bit to hear Thank our you. concerns. Again, we're trying to edit it down way crazy. Josh, did you hear that concern? Yes. Okay. If you could sum it up for everyone. Can you sum it up in like a sentence or two? I think of what the, you think could be done? Yes, I yeah. can. In the letter and in all things put out to the media, we need to stop referring to us as Occupy Richmond and start referring to us as we the people. Exactly. Can, we, can we get a Tim check on that? Can we get a Tim check? Who, those, hold on. You, you, we don't even know we're Tim checking, guys. Put your hands up. Hold on. Those that think that you should do we the people, hands up. Those that you think you should do Occupy Richmond, hands up. Everyone needs to vote. Okay, huh? Let's try that again. Since everybody needs to vote. I didn't vote because y'all know mine. So. You guys are making me lose it a lot. We, myself, are making me lose it. I'm waiting hard. I've been doing this for hours now. Please, 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 let's do this. Those that think it should be us, we the people. Temp check. This is not a vote. A temp check. Those that think it should be Occupy Richmond. Boo. You're, you're going to leave the movement. Oh, leave. this? Yes, I will. <laughs> Strictly because once you label it Occupy Richmond, it's about these people. You call it we the people, Richmond it's about everybody. Everyone. It's we everyone. know that. They don't. Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe, 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 maybe we should say we the 99%. No, because the one percent still has rights too. Exactly. Oh my God. We need a new moderator. So we can't speak. We need a new moderator. Why like not? Would anyone like to step up to moderate? Okay, you are effectively presenting the same problem that is with our government by chat. By chat. Who are not here? There are people who are not here and are not being represented. You are denying their voice. Hey, chill out. We don't yell at each other. First off, there are people eating here right now. Can I say that? Have yes. some respect. I'm sorry for the disrespect. You do not need to be yelling. I am not even sure why you're talking. Are you saying that you're going to leave the movement? Yes. That is what I'm saying. I'm asking you to and right since now, I am saying that if my voice is not heard, I will leave the movement. And you are telling me not to give my voice to you. We've been not speaking out. We are listening. I'm sorry. I'm extremely passionate. I understand that your passion is making me want to walk out the door right now because I feel like I'm being yelled at. So please calm it down. I apologize. I am not yelling at you. I am not yelling at you. I am simply expressing the fact that there are not people who are affiliated and members of this group actively participate in the things that we are doing. We are still fighting for their My rights check. too. So to address what we are doing specifically to occupy Richmond, that means we are only concerned about the specific opinions and beliefs and rights of these specific people. I agree with you, it doesn't actually mean that. But that's how people are going to see it. Okay, mic check. Mic check. It, um, we're going to take stats and then move on. Move on. After, After we all take a deep breath. We all take a deep breath. All right? I Mic check. Mic check. I would also like I would also like to offer a compromise. To offer a compromise. On that one little point. On that one little point. 
perhaps we can phrase it. Perhaps we can phrase it in an inclusive way. In an inclusive way that also specifies. That also specifies occupy Richmond. Occupy Richmond for legal reasons. For legal reasons and permissive reasons. And permissive reasons to say. To say. Uh, pursuant to Bob Law, the Richmond City Code 2, explicitly permit, <laughs> occupy Richmond, occupy Richmond, to exercise our constitutional rights, to exercise our constitutional rights, 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, seven days a week, uh, yeah, 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 it takes out the encampment word. Take out the encampment word. Because we address it in the ordinances anyway. Because we address it in the ordinances anyway. And when you're talking constitutional rights, when you're talking constitutional rights, it forces them to recognize the rights that apply to everyone. It forces them to recognize the rights that apply to everyone. It's just a thought. I have another compromise that was that was in both of them. Oh, what about we say we can we can we can we get that first? Also, um, could. Let's just all breathe right now. It's been a really long day, I believe. So, all right. Now, we're gonna have stack over here. Uh, sir? Uh, and guys, I just stress, we are reading more deeply into this letter than anyone else will. Can we please agree on that? We are we are very invested in these words. This will be read. We are talking. We are talking. We just need to keep things in perspective. This is something that we are trying to do. This is one action of our many actions, and these words do not define us. They, but they are a, a part of the process. She should speak. Okay. Yeah, so let I her speak. Let her speak. We're all gonna say the same thing. How we can <laughs> phrase that to um, to meet both of the needs. So if we say we the people, including, including or inclusively, occupy Richmond. Blah 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 yada yada yada. We, we the, the people, people, including, occupy Richmond. Not specifically occupy Richmond. Because saying specifically occupy, occupy okay, Richmond. Okay, speak. Have, do we like this guy's temp check on that? Do you idea? know what saying specifically <laughs> occupy Richmond no, means? I, yeah, you've explained many no, times. No, really. What does it mean then? Quite a process. Don't look at it. Stop. Let's not get aggro. We should, we should come and steer. He told me he knows what I'm saying. Hey, I haven't um, said anything. Um, Mike check. Mike check sounds a little bit. I'm with you. Right now. Right, right now. now. We are working in a process. We are working in a process. With a group. The Respect the group. Respect the group. Respect the group. Respect okay. on her proposal. So we the people inclusively occupy Richmond. There's, a, there's one down. <laughs> um, would you like to speak as to... I would not like to use the phrase we the people because I do not know what the rest of the people of Richmond think about our letter. I don't know what they think about our letter. <laughs> My suggestion was just going to be to leave it as is and then add a new sentence distinguishing the difference between Occupy Richmond and New People. <laughs> Alright, I don't think that. Sir? Sir? If it is allowed, may I please read our proposed vision statement? Please, for those who may be unaware. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. I'm asking the group. This is a proposed vision statement left up to revision, as we, all of us who are been familiar with it know. Mm -hmm. Occupy Richmond considers itself a part of a growing economic and people's rights movement that recognizes and affirms the essential dignity and inherent value of all human beings. In solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street and Occupy Together movements, we call to respect and uphold the people's First Amendment <coughs> rights to exercise free speech and peaceful assembly to the fullest extent possible and remove all corporate money from our political process. We achieve our goals by enacting our First Amendment rights to petition the government for a redress of grievances without time or place constraints. 
and it, it cites the First Amendment. Simply saying that for Congress shall make no law breaching the freedom of speech or the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, linking with our local and global community to co-educate and unite around the issues we protest. This simply says that Occupy Richmond is a vehicle for all people who agree with what I just read to be expressed through our General Assembly, which is all-inclusive. It is not exclusive. Yes, it is. How so? By people who choose not to come to these meetings. That is meetings. their personal choice, but, sir. You're right. However, and I, that's all I want to do is but to, oh, sorry, but you weren't even in stack. This, you were not addressed. Can we please follow the process? You are restricting my freedom of speech. We follow the process. Get in stack. Get in stack. We have a point of process. All right, what? Give me a number. Tell me when I can speak. I'm asking you for permission to speak. Let me know when I can. If you have a point of clarification to ask a question, use that. Do not just speak out of turn, or as we see here, everything falls apart. Thank you. Can we just stay in the process? Yes. Zach first. Because um, I'm tired of seeing all of us get so frustrated, and I know this is a really valid concern. I'd like to see if this satisfies the people who don't like the Occupy Richmond link language. If it could be rather Occupy Richmond on behalf of the people. Yes. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. All right. Can we all agree on this? Wait, what? Please. All right. Are there any opposed Occupy to that? Occupy Richmond. Occupy Richmond. Perfect. Right. So now that now that this has happened, can we? Yeah. Do you have a point of clarification right here? Occupy Richmond on behalf of the people. Okay, thank you. All right. And we all agree on this. All right. Thank you. Why do we stay? Oh. <laughs> oh, there you are. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So we had a proposal. Can we? Yes. Yes. Isn't that redundant? Come on. Just let it be. Um, anyways, can, can we vote on this? Like to send it out? We got to get it out tonight. All right. Those in favor? All right, but we all. Richmond, he just read the mission statement. He is speaking for the people. We're going to vote on it. All right. As the people of this yes. the world. The world. So, why is it that you have to, like, you know, go through all this? I mean, can, I to can you repeat me? Never mind. Sorry. We, we, we just voted to determine that. All of us voted. Right? Yeah. We reached. We reached modified consent. We do one of these. <laughs> what? To see Can we see we people that dis vote? that really don't <laughs> want <laughs> occupy? What's the question? Is there anyone opposed to having the words changed to occupy Richmond on behalf of the people? Yes. <coughs> one person. So two people. Two people. We, we have reached modified consent. Do we have a block? No? All right. Um, all right. So can we reach consensus on the letter as it is now with the modification? Actually, no. Oh, no? Uh, I'm sorry. All right. All those in favor of this being the letter, and we sent, I'm sending it out. All those opposed? All this, any blocks? Nothing? All right. All right, that's done. That's done. All right. Uh, do we have anything else to address tonight? It's late. Adjourn? Yeah. Second. Yeah. My check. My check. My check. My check. We haven't decided. We haven't decided. On the next GA. On the next GA. Let's do that. Good point. It's a really good point. Any proposals? Yes. Proposal. Okay, we have. Okay, go ahead. I propose. I propose tomorrow. Tomorrow. 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Monroe Park. Monroe Park. All those in favor? Earlier? Discussion.
Concussion? Oh, yeah. I suppose. I suppose. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Maybe around 10. Maybe around 10. So we can actually get ready. So we can actually get ready. So we can actually get ready. For the forum that we have starting at noon. For the forum that we have starting at noon. Alright, all those in favor? Yeah. We do realize that we have a marathon going on tomorrow, right? Oh, that's right. Oh! Ooh! 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 Ooh!